There is an eviction epidemic sweeping San Francisco right now, and while revitalization is important, we cannot have the displacement of valued members of the community in the process. The application for the demolition permit being used to evict us was applied for back in August, but it was never publicly posted. Had it been posted, the statements I have for many members of the community surely would have come forward to appeal, and we have statements to prove this. John Gall and Amy Bogart, who are the building owners, short-circuited due process here under cover of darkness because the eviction notices were not served until late September, long after the appeal timeline had passed. The eviction memo that we received has a number of contradictions. The reason for the evictions, according to John Gall and Amy Bogart, the building owners, is that they failed to get residential accessory use. This is not true. The Department of Building Inspection merely told them what they had to do to bring the building up to code in order to have the residential use approved. This is the pathway to legalizing the units that the City of San Francisco and the Department of Building Inspection has clearly made available to them. Though we are told they are exploring this because they wanted it, they have yet to rescind the eviction notices. The eviction memo we received from John Gall and Amy Bogart states that per these city orders, the building must be entirely vacated. This is also totally not true. At an official Department of Inspection Commission hearing on October 16th, commission members said they were very clear that when they spoke to John Gall, they never told him he had to evict anyone. We want to make it very clear today that the city is not making building owners evict anyone, and the Department of Building Inspection are not the bad guys here. John Gall and Amy Bogart blame the need to evict us on the order of the city and Department of Building Inspection. This is not true and has been confirmed by both the city and the Department of Inspection. We have been lied to. In the eviction memo we received from the building owner, it says, it has long been our belief that this was achievable and we would be able to keep this unique and affordable community. The city has offered them this, and yet the eviction notices stand. While the permit has been suspended, the eviction countdown for the holidays continues. We want to thank the City of San Francisco and the Department of Building Inspection who have been very supportive of our cause and have suspended the permit. We would We would like to ask the City of San Francisco and the Department of Building Inspection in light of these facts to take the next step and support our affordable housing by having the permit canceled and revoked. As the permit was not done according to legal process and is the premise for a massive eviction in bad faith. Show the city of San Francisco that you will not stand for real estate spectators who conduct shady evictions which hurt people who help the city. This case is a very important case because it sets a precedent for future cases and there will, there will be many more cases like this in San Francisco. We also ask that John Gall and Amy Bogart drop this eviction so that we may continue living here and enjoy our holidays in peace. We are proud contributing members of the community and this story just looks really bad for the holidays. We want to thank first and foremost the city of San Francisco, especially Jane Kim's office and the Department of Building Inspection. All of the tenants that are here today helping with our actions. 
hardworking people that are helping us, including the attorneys representing us, providing us legal advice. Last but not least, most importantly, Tommy and Fred from Housing Rights Committee. We also want to thank the press and the media for being here today covering the event. And April. Who's uh, represented from Jane Kim's office today? She has a statement as well. Good afternoon, everybody. Again, my name is April Veneracio, and I work for Supervisor Kim's office, and I'm here on behalf of our office to support the tenants, the tenants here at 1049 Market Street and the tenants at 1067 Market Street and all the other tenants who may be facing a similar situation. You are the tenants that make up Cisco, and you support our community and our city by being workers, by being artists, small business owners, and we are here to support you. You have weathered uh, Market Street. Many of you have been here for uh, 10 plus years, and you are here, and we want to support you during this time. Uh, we, the supervisor has uh, uh, repeatedly called uh, for the property owner to rescind the eviction notices here at 1049 Market Street, especially in light of the holidays. Uh, we're at the heels of the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we don't want to see anybody uh, out on the street and evicted during the holidays. Um, ever! <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we, the supervisor has been in contact with uh, the property owner and has been encouraged by the recent conversations, but as of yet, the eviction notices have not been rescinded, and this is why we're here today to uh, continue to support the tenants um, and the tenants uh, at other buildings of, of commercial use that may be used as residential. The supervisor has called for the Department of uh, Building Inspection and Planning Department to survey other buildings um, in the south of Market, on Market Street, that maybe uh, have been used as residential units um, and who have tenants that want to continue to live there. So we uh, are here once again to support the tenants at 1049 Market Street and to call on the property owner to rescind the evictions here. And I just also want to thank the tenants for uh, sticking together. I know that it's tough uh, during this time and very uneasy and uncertain what the future holds, but uh, your regular meetings and the meetings with the advocates from Housing Rights Committee and all the other citywide organizations that are active uh, during this time of eviction. We just want to thank you all for, um, for all your work and your support of not just you and your situation, but the other tenants in the city at this time. We are here to demand that John Gall and his partners withdraw every single eviction notice before Thanksgiving. In fact, we want them immediately withdrawn. Okay, every single eviction notice at this property, um, he hasn't done it at the other two buildings yet, but we, we want them withdrawn from this property right now, okay? That's the first thing. Because, you know, a lot of people are under the impression that it's all over, that the city has solved the problem. And, you know, we really appreciate what the city's done. The city's done a tremendous job here. But the reality is there are still eviction notices looming over the heads of these folks. Okay, and we're coming into the holidays, and the first round of eviction notices expire right before Thanksgiving, which means that right after Thanksgiving, these tenants could be, those tenants could be served with unlawful detainers, which means that they're, then, they're, then they're in the court process, and they have to fight for their homes in court. We do not want that. No. We want the eviction notices withdrawn before Thanksgiving. You know, the city has provided the landlord with everything he needs to legalize these units. And there's nothing stopping him from doing that. Nothing. Nothing in the world stopping him from doing that. So we ask again, John Gall and company, why are you continuing with these evictions? Because until you withdraw those notices, there's still evictions happening. And another thing, John Gall and Ter uh, Amy Bogart and all the who are involved with the LLC that own this building. We want you to know that the tenants are not leaving. No. We don't care what you do. 
for, for staying and fighting. Uh, I, I, that's a really good question because the research we've done indicates they've played a lot of shell games in terms of their holdings and how they're managing the buildings. Uh, but we do know, we do know confirmed uh, this building here, which is 1049 Market Street, 1005 Market Street at the end of the block on the corner, as well as 1067 Market Street over here. Yeah, and the business is down here, so, and Hay Street. So it's, uh, it, this is very important because we expect that whatever happens here is going to happen at the other buildings. So we're stepping forward to stop this from happening in the other buildings. Yes? How many tenants are still here and how many have left? That's a really good question. There's about 84 units in the building, and we know about 20 have moved out. So the remaining ones that are here do plan on fighting. Even even after the city and the Department of Building Inspection gave them a pathway to legalize the units here, their response was to issue even more eviction notices in the building. Uh, yes, we meet with Jane Kim's office on a regular basis. Uh, we've not had any meetings with John Gall for the obvious reasons. Um, but Jane Kim's office has been very supportive in acting as a liaison between the tenants and uh, John Gall. If you guys aren't successful in fighting this, do you guys have a plan to help find housing for everyone, or is everyone just kind of doing their own thing? Uh, that's a really interesting question. Uh, we did receive a pledge of support that if things don't go well, we will be provided assistance to find other affordable housing. But based on all everything that we've heard and speaking with the attorneys, uh, it's not a very good legal case, so it's not very likely to hold up in court. So, uh, correct. Uh, the evictions don't really. Uh, there, there's just a there's a lot of things uh, about it that just don't look like they're going to hold up, especially when you consider that the permits have been suspended. How can you evict somebody when you're trying to do something when that's been suspended? So also they didn't follow the due process, which is, you know, required. So